I noticed you stuck around in here for a few minutes after we finished <laughs> recording last night. Yeah, I did. I crafted. I see that. I think you turned out good. It did turn out good, but Frankie, you left a mess in here. Well, I thought you were going to clean it up. Why was I going to clean it up? You were the last one in here. Because, yeah, I don't this know, you usually clean it up after All me. right, guys, give us a little bit. We'll be back with tonight's review. So I guess he's going to be the sharpening bird now. What angle should I start with, Pops? Just follow the factory bevel. You'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we've got another wee knife for you tonight. Um, brand new, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's start off with our models that, that we've seen thus far with wee knives, okay? Okay, yeah. So they started off with the 601. There we go. You guys have seen this one in multiple videos mm -hmm. to this point. We just replaced the <clears throat> the hardware the other night, right? Right. It turned out great. Looks great with the purple. Love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, this was kind of their flagship model. And I want to say, well, we uh, we noticed them, we as in us, noticed them in May. Yes, and we picked this one up at Blade Trail. Yeah, shortly thereafter, early June, right? Mm hmm So, um, and they didn't have much at that point released. Well, since then, they've been cranking them out, haven't they? Yeah, they really have. <laughs> Hottie okay. overload. Hottie overload. Oh, check out the box and the, and the uh, pouch that you get, too. Mm hmm Love these pouches that you get. Cleaning cloth and then the, the proprietary tool, of course. Yes. Okay. So very cool. And then you got the 602. I would set it here, but we, we don't, don't have it. We don't have it. No. Uh -uh. I'll bring in a photo of that now. You'll see it. Frankie, they, yeah, they've got the green one with the blue accents. Oh, I love their greens. It's so pretty. I would get the Tanto version, and there's one sitting at Blades101.com right now. I'm tempted. Mm -hmm. All right, then next up was the 603. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's sort of sad. It is we sad. Did it, we did a big promotional one with that one. We did our biggest giveaway yet at 4,000. Uh, yes. And it's in England now. <laughs> it is in England. We can confirm that. Okay, so the picture you saw, that's that's our actual knife that we had. All right. Um, quick story on that. So that knife didn't even get there, Frankie. Yes, I, know. Oh, until, I know. Until after the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Yeah, we were freaking out for a little while. Guys, it took a month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah. That's the 603. It's, it's awesome. All right. Yes. The 604... I should have bought it, Blade Show. We should have bought it, Blade Show. We're bringing a photo now. Frankie, my <sighs> favorite is the black dragon scales. Well, they're all dragon yes. scales. The, the all black version with the tanto blade and the black blade. Yes. I almost <sighs> bought a purple one at Blade Show, and I should have done it. We should have. We really should have. Anyway, those... Okay, Vlad got them first at Blades101.com, and then everybody else gets them, and they're sold out everywhere. They're gone. Mm -hmm. So if I ever get a chance at one of those again, you better believe I'm going to get one. Yes. We got the true. 605, Frankie. Yes, I love the 605. It's an awesome little knife. I would have it right here. Well, well, we're showing a picture, though. He's out in YouTube land. He is out in YouTube land, right? Mm -hmm. Then the 606 that was just released. Okay. Yes, 606 just released. The carbon fiber is beautiful. Yeah, there's a couple of models that have carbon fiber inlays in them. We'll show a picture of that one. And then the other ones are just um, like a plain titanium scale. I would really like to get my hands on one of those just because it looks really smooth and sleek. And they do. I just really like the looks of it. They do, they do, yeah. Um, then the 607. I want one of these, too. I do want one of those, also. So it's the first fixed blade that mm -hmm. Wee Knives has done. What, what Kitchen was, knife. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, when in our day-to-day -day, um, life, yes. we like to use our, our fixed blades as kitchen knives whenever possible. That is true. Um, if we get the 607, it's going to be a kitchen knife. <laughs> it would be it would be awesome to cook with. And, yeah, I would I would use I it mean, all the time. We'll take it outdoors. We'll take it camping. But for for the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, I'm you know, slicing like, tomatoes. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that brings us to where we're at now, the 608. Nice. There we go. Check Look this out, it. you guys. Yes, it's a bigger knife. Let's just do a little once over. Sure. Yeah. Let's model him. Mm hmm Beautiful knife. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, he is. All right. As an overview real quick, I think this is the biggest folder they've done so mm -hmm. far. Tactical. He's got more tactical. The all black kind of lends him to that. I think, well, with the exception of the fixed blade, this is going to be their most tactical knife yet. Yes. I want to say, okay? And we'll talk about some of those details that, that make it that way. Um, yeah, this is a this is a very cool knife. I know it's going to appeal to a lot of people. Yeah, it's really sweet looking. 
All right, should we start with a blade? Okay, let's go in. Yeah, four inch blade. It's it's a big guy. Look how tall it is too. Well, and like I didn't really, by itself he doesn't look that big, mm -hmm. but then when you compare him to him, the 601. Well, the 601 is on how. the, yeah, this is on the larger size. I know, it just makes it, like it doesn't even seem like it's that big, but mm -hmm. then comparing to others that it sure. makes it seem bigger. Yep, big old Tanto blade on there. It's a, it's like a black stone wash finish. Frankie, uh -huh. they also have like the satin finishes oh, on there. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. S35VN blade steel. Ooh, do you have a fun fact? All right, it's getting harder and harder to come up with the <laughs> S35VN fun facts. Getting less fun. <laughs> <laughs> no. Here's what I'll say about, about the fun fact for today on S35VN. Okay. 2016 will be known as the year of S35VN. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen it on so true. many knives. And don't get us wrong, guys, it is an awesome blade steel. We see it on so many knives yeah. for a reason but a lot of the American manufacturers are using it. It's an American steel. Mm -hmm. The high-end Chinese companies are importing it into China to build their <laughs> knives, okay? Yeah. It's an awesome steel. I wonder what 2017 is gonna be the year of. Well, I'm glad you brought that up. So I was talking to Vlad from Blades 101. Uh -huh. He was telling me that he's working with Wee Knives for next year to import new steels and to get new steels for their knives. Oh, that would be cool. So look to see a variety. Okay? Oh, you'll have to come up with all kinds of new fun facts. No. Because I want to be repeating well, okay, myself so much. Just facts. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We'll talk. We'll talk blade steel. We'll, we'll get nerdy with blade steel. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. And then look at the cut in here, Frankie. You know what that's called? Um, I do, just because you told me what it's called. It's called a blood groove. <laughs> <laughs> I like to call it a blood groove. Okay. But the real name? Yes, it's kind of stupid. It's a fuller. Now, that's all well and good, but I've seen Home Alone, and that kid's a nerd. He is a big nerd with those and, huge glasses. And Fuller wet the bed. Fuller did wet the bed. <laughs> no, guys, they were joking. I, I, you know, it's called a Fuller, technically. I always like the term blood groove. Blood groove is so much cooler because, like, is. when you're stabbing somebody, you need somewhere that the blood to go. Sure. Like, you just don't want it to just stay in the person, right? I'm still, I'm still practicing this, but check this out. Right, Frankie gets all graphic on this. Uh -huh. You can on this knife. I've been practicing. Okay. There it is. Could Good job, good job. You can use the this blood groove. As a spider, a spidey flick. So we're going to do two in a row. Ooh, nice. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You should stop there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, stop on my head. Yeah, while we're looking at it there, there's a um, fairly aggressive thumb ramp with jimping, okay? Mm -hmm. Again, that kind of tactical side of things. Um, good finger trial in here. He just has a very, like, mean, like, look. Profile. Toward. Yes. Like, yep. he just looks like he's going to, like, attack you. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Guys that like the bigger knives, the more self-defense oriented knives, this is yours. He's kind of beefy. Mm -hmm. Let's get into the handle a little bit okay. here. Okay. It's textured. It is textured. You guys can see that and hear mm -hmm. it. Okay. Textured. Again, if your hand is wet or, you know. Bloody. <laughs> if your hand is bloody, you know, you're going to be able to hold on to this sucker. Yeah. Hopefully you won't get this knife bloody. I know. I wouldn't it's want to. It's too pretty. I'd be like, dude, we don't really want to do this. We don't want a knife fight. I got my wee knife. I know. <laughs> um, Let's grab sticks. Yeah. <laughs> so we got the uh, the bronzed hardware. Okay. Yes. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Replaceable. Yes. Talk. You have to talk to Vlad I about that. I wonder what it would look like with the purple. I, I bet I it know. might actually Here, look neat. Flip it around. There we go. On the logos. Yeah. It might look good blue. on there. Mm -hmm. Or blue. I I hope that when they get done with their oh, their know. whole onslaught of of knife releases, that they start doing more accessories. Or maybe you could have somebody customize this to match the blue. That would look really cool. Too. Um, that's a good question as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so the handles, yeah, they are titanium scales. Um, do you want to do the width real quick on oh, it? Oh, yeah, I can do it. It's got kind of a wide spot right in the middle there. Yeah. Again, giving you plenty he, to grip to. He's got, too. like, a belly. Okay, half inch being average. It's a little on the thicker side at 0.57. Yeah. Yep. Okay. There is a backspacer on here with texture. Mm-hmm. Okay. Frame lock, of course. There's a steel lock bar inside there, right? Yeah. Frankie, uh -huh. you know the knives, uh, when they first came out with the, the over travel stop? Yes. Watch your hands there, they would put the... Um, yeah, the... The disc mm -hmm. right here, okay? Um, I don't like those as much. I like this just nice being sleek. Mm -hmm. I like it sleek and just minimal. The the steel lock bar insert acts as an over travel behind the scenes, right? Yeah. The only evidence of it is that little piece of hardware right there, which looks good. Yeah, it's just another little star. Talk about the clip here. The clip is very minimal, which I like. That's what I would really like about Wii, is that they do these really minimal clips. Check out the appearance on that. Very cool, tiny little logo on there, too. Mm -hmm. And it's texture, too, to match. It is, yeah. One thing I noticed about this one, I think I told you about this um, over the weekend. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit hard to get into my pocket. It's a little stiff. Yeah. All right? And it's um, loosened up a little bit. But it bit. has loosened up, and I expect it to, to be just fine. Yeah. Um, actually, it has gotten even better. I so. do like the gold 
hardware on the black. I it think just it works. looks really cool. We had a car with uh, black and gold. Oh yes, yep. it, it was a good looking car. Yep. Anyway, that's the that's the 608. Let's do one other measurement oh, too. Well, let me let me do the uh, okay the flipping here. Yeah, you want to check the weight. Yeah. It's an excellent flipper. I will say the detent's a little on the softer side, mm -hmm. but it flips very nicely, okay? Yes. It's a big blade, right? Mm-hmm. And then Can it, you hear the detent? Yeah. Right? I love that finishing sound, mm -hmm. like just to put them back in place. Yep, good mechanical sounds. All right, you want a zero? We got zero here? Okay. Zero. 5.30. Zero. Guys, that's a thick four-inch blade, yeah, or a tall four-inch blade. It, it, it's good for its size, right? Mm -hmm. The weight is good for its size. Yeah, it really is. I guarantee, though, the people, and I went through my large knife face, the people that carry large blades like this, they don't care. Well, that's not very heavy for this big of a blade. That's the thing. It's, it's really not. Yeah. yeah. And it's tip-up, right hand only. Sorry, lefties. Sorry, lefties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a cool knife. Look at the, I mean, it does have a tanto. Like, you notice it's actually got a subtle recurve to he it? It does. Like, you don't really catch it until you really get into it and look mm -hmm. at it. Let's, um, let's get that recurve on some paper, shall we? Okay. We'll show you. All of their knives have come, uh, come very sharp. Okay, let's see here. Nice. Yeah, that does cut nicely. And those are even slow cuts. Very yeah. good. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. Um, they've all been the same. We've not gotten a dull uh -uh. wee knife, of course. Um, this thing's awesome. It really is. Really cool. If you like it, pick it up because... Well, um, that's the thing. If you like these, you have uh, to buy them yes. while you see them. Yes, you have to. If we you got, jump on them while you can. We got this one from the Premier Source. That is Vlad at Blades101.com. Yes. I say Premier Source because he gets them first. He's got a good relationship with, with the company. Mm-hmm. And um, he's also the warranty guy. So you may as well buy it directly from the warranty yeah, guy. Yeah, so if right? you have any problems, he can take care of you for sure. Right. And talk to him about hardware. Yeah. While it lasts, I don't know how that. I don't. I don't know. And oh, you didn't hear it it's here. It's just a good. <laughs> it's a good family company. So yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Support the little guys. Definitely. Um, also, we're, we're gonna put a link in real quick. I'll put an annotation link right down there. here um, to his YouTube channel. He's trying to get that off that off the ground as well. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So get it if you can while you can. I know they have some in stock at uh, 101 right now. Mm -hmm. um, looking to the future, the 609. I'll bring in a quick photo of that one, the Warncliffe. Yes. Oh, man. So oh, cool. I want, like, that's the problem right now. I want all of their knives. Yes, and they're coming out too fast. Too and fast. speaking of that, too, I really like Vlad's own design, the War Admiral. You guys are going to see more of this, okay? I want that. Vlad is a designer himself, all right? Uh -huh. He's got a couple of designs that he's had manufactured at Wee Knives, so we know their quality. Uh-huh. Frankie, we're supposed to get ours next week. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm going to bring a picture in. You guys have heard about it before. The War Admiral. Okay. Oh, and his anodizing on it is amazing. That's He had his done somewhere. Um, we'll have to talk to him about that, but uh, that's all options that you can do. I'll bring the photo of that, too. Um, so talk about hottie overload. Hottie overload. We'll show that one next week. Um, you guys know I love my cleavers. Yes. <laughs> it's Cleaver Nation. <laughs> Tactical cleavers, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. That's Tactic the 608. Cleavers. Lots of different colors available. Get them while you can. Uh -huh. um, if you like the design, really, they because when they sell, they sell out, it seems. Yeah, so. and it, I don't know when they come back in, so you really have to just hop on it. It's still such you a young company, and they've got... Well, we know they're trying to get 20 models out in a short amount of time, so... Yep. Yep. All right. Thanks a lot for joining, guys, and we'll catch you next time.